Welcome to the Trade Forum Spotlight, the International Trade Center interviews with leading personalities. Today, we talk to Professor Mohamed Yunus, the founder of the Grameen Bank. Professor Yunus, thank you for being with us. Microbusinesses are the credit lending models of the Grameen Bank. Please tell us how successful has the model been so far and how it can be exported to other countries. We are a sort of micro, micro business, nano business. Uh, businesses, people who start with the $10, $20, $100, and that's it. So that's a very um, starting level of uh, active, entrepreneurial activity. Uh, yes, we, we created this idea, this notion of microcredit and uh, continued in Bangladesh and created a bank called Grameen Bank or Village Bank. So that banking uh, has expanded uh, within Bangladesh and then idea has spread all over the world. If you look around, there's probably not a single country in the world which doesn't have a microcredit program. Now we have microcredit program, for example, in the United States. We call it Grameen I America. We work in uh, uh, 15 cities, major cities in the USA with 25 branches. We have over 140,000 borrowers, all women, 100% women. And startup loan in the USA is $500, $600, and so on. Uh, and we've been doing for the last 12 years. And the repayment record has been uh, absolutely near 100%. It's 99.5% and plus. Uh, it's, it's the same system that we work in Bangladesh, exactly the same, non-collateral. Uh, see, we turn everything around in a banking system. Uh, in a banking system, you uh, go for the rich, we go for the poor. In the conventional system, you go for men, we go for women. And in urban area, we go to the rural area. And you look for collateral, there's no collateral. We said, no, people don't come to the bank, bank go to the people. So all these uh, women that we serve in Bangladesh, for example, over 9 million women, uh, we come to their homes to provide the service. They don't have to come to our office. And that's what the microcredit that we created all around the world, including in the United States. Thank you, Professor Yunus. You're talking about women, and I wonder, do young people also have access to these loans? There is no age limit. Like the banks have age limit, we don't have age limit. You could be as old as 90, it doesn't matter. As long as you can function, you can do your business, it's fine with us. Uh, or you are still a teenager, you want to start a business alongside whatever you're doing, you can do that. Is there a success story that you would like to share as a source of inspiration to young entrepreneurs? All human beings are born as entrepreneurs. Human being is a creator. Human being is, uh, is something always uh, solving problems, uh, something um, uh, innovating things. But uh, you, uh, we have created the concept of employment uh, and we tell young people to go and uh, find a job. I said, this is absolutely wrong way because uh, the moment you take a job, uh, you surrender your creative power. The job, the job doesn't need your creative power. It, it's run by directions. It's run by instructions. You follow the instructions as closely as you can get. Uh, forget about what you think, what we do. So I said, that uh, minimizes the capacity of a human being. So we are encouraging all young people to feel that I'm not a job seeker, I'm a job creator, I'm an entrepreneur. So in order to do that, we created what we call a social business venture capital fund. We tell the unemployed young people in Bangladesh, come with a business idea, we invest in your business. This may be your first business, or you maybe it's a side one that you, along with your schooling, you, we invest in your business and we become your partner. So you make it successful and you turn the money that we gave you. And since we are a social business, we don't want any profit out of you. Profit belongs to you. All we need is our money back, that's all. So as long as you are okay with it, uh, we can invest in you. And all these young people who are waiting for jobs and employed now come with business ideas, we keep on investing in them and they keep expanding their businesses. We, they take the money and then pay back the money and then take the next loan, next uh, investment and we, they return that investment and the third John fourth down and grow. And we have now over 75,000 young people doing that. Uh, it, it keeps on increasing. So amazing ideas they come up with, uh, something that you never thought about. 
but the young people come up with ideas of their own with convenience, particularly boy, girls uh, that within the limitations of their family situation and so on, they come up with brilliant ideas how to start a business. Thank you, Professor Yunus, for your time and inspiring insights.